guys, I'm Mark Raymond Hunter. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to take apart and repair an MSI P106 GPU. This is a mining GPU by NVIDIA. Um, as you can see, there's no display out on this thing, which is uh, what mining GPUs are made for. I don't think it has things like tensor cores, tensor cores or CUDA or things like that on this. It's really primarily meant for mining. In this case, it's a client's graphics card. The fan came busted, and I ordered replacement fans on Amazon for pretty cheap. You can find them on Amazon, usually $10-$20. Bucks. Pretty easy to repair something like this. Um, it's only a couple screws you can get at it pretty easily and also this will show you how, how to just take it apart for cleaning purposes again very very easy process also to my typical subscribers that are now crypto miners sorry for all the crypto videos um i do plan to upload regular content at some point but it takes me forever to make each video as i'm sure you guys are aware so the process for taking this apart is very very simple uh just so that way you understand the basics um let me put it on let me put my phone like this sorry for the ghetto style recording so um to take off the fans you can see underneath over here that there are some screws there are three of them one two and three and there's a wire that goes from the fan uh, it's usually flat enough so that way the fan blades don't actually touch it and it goes up to here you could follow my screwdriver so that way you can see it then it goes up on top of here as you can see and it ends up right over here as you can see for the power to the fans now if you go underneath over here i doubt you'll be able to see it very well but there is a secondary connection it splits off from the fan over here to go over here now i snipped it how i took this fan off because it was broken i had a broken fan blade was that i unscrewed it uh all, all three screws are off then the fan comes off and then what i did is that i just cut the wire because the fan was broken anyways it is fine to cut the wire i have replacement fans over here you can see how the mechanism actually works um, so which one would be the primary so it goes over here this should be the primary so the input wire right over here goes down goes down goes down then it is split over here between the two fans and you can see right over here that there is a fitting over there so that way you can unplug or plug in a different fan so it is fine if you snip the wire for right over here just make sure you don't snip it uh, down the line where you hit the fitting and then you'll have to replace both fans um, now, um, this GPU is very simple. There is a front shroud over here, the plastic in the front. Then there is the heat sink, which is the big metal fins. And then there is the GPU, which is the black PCB over here. So in order to take it apart, it is as simple as this. So first off, generally when taking apart a GPU, you want to find all the screws that are connecting the pieces together. In this case, it is just these four screws over here, actually. So the I.O. shield over here is definitely separate. There are screws over here and here, but as you can see from the front, it's not actually connected to the plastic at all. So you should be fine with leaving it on. Now we can take this off, and when you take this off, you will be taking the heat sink off, so you may need to reapply thermal paste just so that way you're aware. Uh, so I advise having thermal paste with you, so that way uh, you don't have problems. So. Uh, it's also good to have a magnetic parts tray if you have one. I'm taking off all four of these screws. And as soon as I take this off, then this will come off from the heatsink. And as you can see, this part is the GPU. So right over here, you can see this black PCB is the, P is the GPU. You can see over here also that there is a... Um, there's thermal pads that are meant for the VRMs and for other parts of the GPU, while there is uh, remnants of thermal compound for the GPU itself. Um, now, the GPU is fine. We don't need anything from here. All we have to do is unplug the power from the fan, so that way it is completely separate, and we can take the GPU itself and put it off to the side. Now, just so that way you're aware, uh, this is pretty dirty. I'm probably going to clean it off with 92% isopropyl alcohol. I do advise doing that if it is dirty like this. Like you see over here, it's pretty filthy. Now, next thing is that we have the GPU itself. So, all that's left is that this plastic shroud is connected to the heatsink itself. The reason you need to remove it is because otherwise you cannot run the cable from underneath over there, so that way you can get there. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look for where the screws are on here, and it is one, two, three, four. So let me put my phone down, and I will unscrew everything. So, one over here, one over here, so those two. Make sure you don't lose these screws. And 
then the two remaining over here. This is a very, very easy GPU to take apart, considering there's literally only eight screws in total, and it's only two variants of screws. Well, I guess actually a little bit more than that because also the fans have screws. So now once you take all four of those off, it will literally just come right off like that. And now from here, it's just a matter of putting the new fan on. So what I'm going to do is I will do it live, I guess, why not. So I'm going to take the new fan off, uh, unconnect it from here. Give me a second. Sorry, it's taking a little while, it's a little bit tight. Give me a second. I'm not doing any editing on this, so uh, skip ahead like 30 seconds, sorry guys. There we go, got it. Okay, so now I got it. Sorry for the wait. Now you can see over here, they will go into each other, I believe. Make sure it's lined up properly. Do not force it, because if you do, you will bend the pins. Do not force it. I screwed up like a dumb dumb, actually. Um, so, if you don't want to screw up like me, put the fan over here first. Make sure you line up the wires. And the wire has to go through over here, as you can see. So the wire goes through the fan shroud, and then it's going to go here. Now just tuck it back away where it was originally. And what you're going to do is, you're going to go over here, line up the screws, flip it over, screw everything in. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to make sure that everything is flat enough so that way the fan doesn't run over it. Because if the fan starts hitting it, especially if you're crypto mining with something like this, that can actually cause a lot of problems because then it will hit the thing over and over again and eventually damage it to the point that it just breaks again very quickly. Now I'm screwing it in. Good. Now, just so you're aware, I actually lost the original screws um, for the fan, which is dumb of me. I probably should have put it somewhere. So these screws I'm using are actually M.2 screws, and they seem to fit here just fine. Just so that way you are aware of that. Um, I'm going to try not to over tighten so that way I don't strip anything. I don't know if they are meant to be the same size screw. But I also need to make sure it is in deep enough so that way it doesn't hit the fan and so that way it is actually secure. And it does look like these screws are working no problem, so that is good. It looks like in my bag of M.2 screws there are some deeper and shallower M.2 screws, like some that are longer, some that are shorter. Uh, I'm trying to use the longer variants where possible. But again, it's ideal to just save the original screws and don't be dumb like me. Okay. And it does seem to be secured in. And it feels like if I pull any more that the ball bearings will pro probably pop off. So it does seem to be a secure fit. 
and it also seems like it's now touching the wire when it, it spins, so that is a successful repair. So now, I just have to take this little thing, pop it back in over here, and route the cables all back to where they originally were. Then I have to take this. Um, I'm going to cut the video because I actually didn't prep thermal compound, but uh, you guys get the idea. You then take uh, this, you put it back onto there. I also want to do a deep cleaning off camera because that's going to take a while, just some isopropyl alcohol and whatever. Um, and you guys get the idea. You could clean it, you could do whatever you need from there, and you just put it back together in the reverse order, the reverse order of how you actually took it apart. So that should be it for this video. Uh, to my usual subscribers, sorry for all the crypto stuff. I expect to be doing more crypto stuff, but I'm also working on a bunch of things in the background. So yeah. Uh, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe if it helped you. Um, if you are here for some of the crypto stuff, let me know. I do a lot of very, very large-scale crypto mining stuff in my free time. Um, I'm not talking about, like, one or two systems. I'm talking about, um, a, a, like, a lot of money. So, um, let me know if you guys want to see some, uh, some stuff about that. Tips and tricks and things like that of how to scale these things properly. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.